Hi yo! How's it going? Hello everyone in the chat. Today we'll be playing some more Hotel Dusk. Honestly, today is just gonna be like a chiller day. I'm feeling kind of sleepy right now. So I guess we can just get on to the to the game and see how it goes there. Let me see. Let me get Hotel Dusk out. Well, let's see. Recent... Hotel Dusk. Alright, then we can just go over here. <coughs> Alright. I hope y'all have been having a good day so far today. I've been having a pretty chill day so far. Just sleepy. I've got, I got pretty good sleep last night, but... I don't know. Sometimes even if you sleep a lot, it doesn't really uh, go through. <laughs> let me see. Let, let me see if I have the category correct. All right. Yes, we do. And let me turn off the Yumetuki music. Oh, that's a bit loud. So I forget what chapter we've been on. I think we're on chapter four, five? Load. Chapter five, yes. We've played almost three hours? This, that's pretty good, I guess. 175 minutes is three hours. All right, I forget what we're supposed to do. Do we call on the phone or something? Call Rachel? No. I don't think so. Oh. Oh well, I was just at the phone, but now it's calling me. Huh? The phone. Again. Alright, time to go back. Phone's ringing. Edo. Do 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 do. Hey there, handsome. You doing okay? What is it, Rachel? Usual cheery self, I see. Listen, I dug up some info on this Osterzone fellow. Let me have it. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. He was born in England in 1975, and he died in 1910 at the age of 35. Whole career is one big mystery. The guy was complete unknown while he was alive. Hey, Koro! Hey, thank you for coming by! Yeah, I kind of figured that a lot of people would be watching Cabal's, Cabal's celebration. So I guess we're just gonna chill a bit with, with Hotel Dusk. I hope you're having a good time. I will be there soon. Then, about 40 years after he died, 10 or so of his works were discovered. Suddenly, people love his stuff and he becomes the art world's new darling. From what I've read, artsy types appreciate his subtle and distinctive brushwork. There are a lot of collectors out there who want his paintings in a big way. You wouldn't believe how much folks are paying for his stuff. It's crazy. Oh, and his most valuable painting is something called Angel Opening a Door. Angel Opening a Door, huh? Mm-hmm. But the thing's been stolen, so there you go. Someone stole it? I mean, I guess, well, I mean, people have been talking about this angel painting all game, so. Having a good time, yes. I hope Kyle will not be too grumpy today. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not, but we'll see. I forget what, we're on chapter five now. I forget what character it focuses on. But I think it focuses on um, Jeff Angel, the little fuckboy. So I think Kyle will be grumpy at him because Jeff Angel is like a little prick. But I'm glad you're having a good time. So let's see here is taken from the Travis Art Museum. Let's see. Yep, three years ago. Interesting. Apparently, it's the largest of all Osterzone's paintings and the most popular. Isn't this all just fascinating? Yeah. So, Kyle, sweetie? Huh? Why the sudden interest in dead painters? Actually, I just wanted to know about angel paintings. Angel paintings? You mean paintings of angels, right? Yeah, what, what else would he mean? 
Yeah, whatever. Listen, I found some dirt on Bradley in the last few hours. Bradley? That's the man you're looking for, right? The one you won't tell me about? His gay lover? Bradley was my partner when I was on the force. Three years ago, he went rogue and stabbed me in the back. He used his badge to steal a boatload of cash and a big angel painting. Then he vanished. I want to know what happened. Why he did it? That's why I'm tracking him down. Oh. Let me guess. Ed's out again, isn't he? Um, yeah, yeah, he's out. I'll have him give you a ring when he gets in. Do it. And Kyle, thanks for telling me about Bradley. Sure. I mean, like, after three years, like, you suddenly tell me about, like, what happened. I mean, he's probably been working for them for about three years now, ever since he left the force. Okay. Eight bells. Time to see Rosa. Rosa. Oh yeah, that's the, the, the maid lady. I thought we were supposed to have a drink with Helen. I'm looking forward to getting drunk with Helen. Drunk with the old lady mafia. Ma mafia. <laughs> old mafia lady. A door or oh, or oh, opens at the end of the hallway. It's the fuck boy! Alright, what's wrong now? Something happened? You look like roadkill. Oh, <laughs> that's something to, that's something to say to someone when you first see them in the hallway. Sending Frankus love vus. Thank you, Opalite. Thank you. I hope you're having a good time in Cabal stream. It's nothing. Really? Great. See you around. Hey. Wait a minute, will you? What? Dunning say anything to you? <laughs> About you? Yeah, plenty. He says you're a big prick. Heard somebody made off with your stuff. So you heard, huh? Oh yeah, I'm being framed for stealing his money. That's it. Uh, allergies. They've been bothering me all day. Or, like, ever since it got warmer in my area. But I got some Benadryl, so I'm gonna try that tonight and see if it helps. So what got taken? I'm not telling you that. I'm lurking in your strem now? Thank you, Opalite! That- I appreciate that. I- it feels nice to have a little opalite lurking in the stream. Keeping me company. Hey, hold on. I'm not gonna say 20k, otherwise he'll know, like, how- He'll know, like, that I have the money. Why not? Get serious. You could be the thief, for all I know. But I will get my things back. That idiot manager is searching right now. Room to room, which means he'll visit you, too. Does that frighten you at all? This fun for you, kid? You like playing cops and robbers? Huh? Look at you standing there with that idiot grin on your face. <laughs> what a sap. Holy shit, Kyle really saying this to his face. <laughs> what in the name of Sam's Hill's going on here? Someone's yelling behind me, and I think I know who it is. Oh, this is this old man Dunning. I appreciate the little frog. Oh, thank you. I mean, wow. Frog love who sent your way. Something happened? We're just talking. Great, last thing I need in my life is more useless chit chat. And stop wasting time and start searching. You're so utterly useless. Oh my god, this guy is just so fucking rude. Why wouldn't you look for my things? He's like a guy Karen. Jeff clamps his mouth shut and storms off. Well, crap. You plan on going through everyone's things? I look like I look like Sherlock Holmes to you. If there's an investigation, I gotta call the police, much as I hate to. I bet. But okay, I'll bite. What's the pro oh yeah? Because Dunning has an issue with cops. He doesn't like cops. Thank you for the head pad! 
I missed the head pat. Did it pat me in the right place? Because I'm like, I'm like turned around a little bit, but hopefully it's still in the right place. What's wrong? Ah, uh, ain't nothing, but again with the butt. What is it? It's that angel kid. He's off kilter, you know? Rubs me the wrong way. What makes him off kilter? Why does he seem off kilter? Sometimes when I call him, he doesn't react. Doesn't react? Like how? He ignores you? I ain't exactly sure, but I'll talk to him and it's like he don't hear me. Gotta say his name a few times before he pays attention. Oh! I think Jeff Angel is like a fake name. That's why he doesn't... That's why he doesn't like, uh... Recognize the name. I think I remember that being a thing. You're on audio only, so you don't know? Oh no! Well, at least I'm reading everything out loud, so that at least helps with the hotel desk streams. But I'm sure it patted me in the right place. A little pat on my forehead. <laughs> He's all bent out of shape about his stuff being stolen, right? But you don't seem upset in the right way. More like it's an act. And all this business about searching everyone's stuff? Had enough of that. You think he's lying? I don't know. But I don't want to call no cops. I hate cops. What are you gonna do? Gonna think things over for an hour is what I'm gonna do. Exactly one hour. I will set a timer and I once an hour has passed, I will decide. One hour exactly? Oh, and Kyle caught that too. One hour exactly? You got a show to watch or something? I'm a punctual man. Anyway, I'm gonna give it an hour, then hear his story again. Then I'll decide whether or not to call the police. Well, good thing for us. This chapter is an hour, and this chapter is about Jeff, most likely. Dunning finishes talking and slouches off. I like the way that they describe how people walk off. I forget how they describe how Rosa walks off. I, I forget her walking style. But I guess uh, Dunning is slouching off. Your narration helps a lot and I hope I didn't poke your eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. You you see me. My my. Even if you poke my eye, I, I don't got any problem with that. Come on, I want a drink with Helen. Where the heck is Rosa? Is she in her room? Okay, she isn't here. I'm glad the narration helps a lot. It's it's fun to narrate this game. Where is Rosa's room? I think it was down here. Dunning's room. Rosa's room. There she is. She's standing right outside her room. Oh, Mr. Hyde! Hello! What good timing you have. I was hoping you'd come along, and here you are. Something happened? It's Mila. She's not feeling very well, poor thing. She's running a fever. Oh, shit. This is a horrible night for her. <laughs> How bad. She seems tired, but I think that's the worst of it. At least for now. I'm going to run to the front desk and get some medicine. Do me a favor. Go to my room and watch her until I get back, okay? Good. I'll be back in a jiffy. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, okay, why not? Thank you, Mr. Hyde. I'll be back before you know it. Just you wait. Rosa finishes talking and scuttles away. That's, that's her way of walking away. She scuttles. Damn, it's already 8.20. That was quick. I guess that's what happens when you know what to do. <laughs> Wonder what Mila's doing. Do 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 do. Ooh, this is a nice little room. Got some nice velvet couches. Oh, Mila doesn't look too hot. She just slouched over on the couch. 
That looks very uncomfortable. Sleeping, huh? Hey. Let's, let's like, sit, shake her awake. How you feeling? Dot dot dot. Rosa's gone to get you some medicine. Take it easy, okay? Meeting all these new people tired you out, didn't it? Thought so. So, hey, I got something I need to ask you. Can you tell me something about your bracelet? Was it a present? She says yes. Yeah? Who gave it to you? Mmm... She doesn't want to tell me. Can't tell me, huh? Great, now what? Wait a second. Mila, can you write? Here, write down the name of the person who gave you the bracelet. Write it here. Open my notebook and give it to Mila. But yeah, she's kind of mute, so I guess she can't tell you anything. She has to write it down. She writes something in the notebook. Now you gotta take it, take it away from her. Gr great, great, uh, great gameplay. I gotta take the notebook from her, huh? What's in the notebook? Papa. Papa. You got the bracelet from your father? Is this Bradley's daughter? What's his name? Here, write it down. I open my notebook and give it to Mila. She writes something in the notebook. And we pick it up again. Hmm. Robert Evans. Who's that? So her last name is Evans? Your father's name is Robert Evans? Huh. Alright. So what's your father do? Where does he live? Here, write it down for me. And she doesn't want to do that. What's wrong? You don't want to tell me? And Rosa comes back in. Oh, it's you. Thank you for coming, Mr. Hyde. I'll take over now. You can go, okay? Good. We're in the middle of a conversation. Well, it'll have to wait. Mila's tired. Finish up later, alright? Now skedaddle. Fine. Oh, Dunny. <laughs> Dunny, you scared me! That you, Mr. Hyde? What are you doing here? Let me tell you something, Mr. Hyde. I see no reason for you to be wandering the halls like some kind of spook. You keep sneaking around, and I'm gonna get suspicious. Why don't you go on back to your room and sit still for a bit? <laughs> Scary. Dunning turns and goes into the room. Okay. I guess I gotta... I gotta go back to my room. First, let's, uh, save. Yeah. Save complete! Yatta! Okay. Am I gonna run into Jeff? Okay, I'm not. Yep, boop, whoop, whoop. Knock, knock, who's there? It's Bradley. Nah. This game is a vibe? It really is a vibe. That's I've played this game like so many times. Just I really like the the atmosphere and the aesthetic. Also, hey uh the speed of Kurt, welcome. Mr. Hyde? What is it, squirt? <laughs> what what that's something to call someone. Uh Mr. Hyde, can you help me? With what? One of my wings came off. You have wings? No, my doll. I ripped one of the wings on my doll. Come on, kid. Get your old man to fix it. 
He can't sew. He's a man. I'm a man too! I'm a man too, dude! Well, Kyle's a man too. He's a surgeon. He sews up people all the t- Hey, I'm a man! <laughs> yeah, whatever, but Mr. Summer said to ask you. He said you could fix it. So can you fix it? Please? Um, she asked Summer and then Summer is like, nah, ask Hyde. Summer told you I could fix it? Uh-huh, he said you're a salesman and have gadgets and stuff like that. He said a bunch of other stuff too, but I didn't understand him. <laughs> Was he talking shit about me? Then he kept talking and I got bored. He smells weird. But he said that you had something that could fix my doll. Summer, you two-bit con artist. What's a con artist? Can't believe anyone would think I could sew. Oh no, don't cry. All right, all right, relax. Hold your breath and count to a million or something. Damn, Kyle. Dude, Kyle really knows how to deal with children, I guess. Thank you for the follow, Kurt. Welcome to the Frange, Frange space. All right, I think I know what um, I need to get. There's a sewing machine, I think. There's a mini sewing machine in the box. Got a mini sewing machine. I don't think I need the... Yeah, okay. We don't need that adhesive remover, but... I guess we're gonna learn how to sew for this tiny kid. Look, Squirt. Please, mister! <laughs> Time for the, the, the mini game. I did it! Or we did it! <laughs> oh look, he looks so fucking proud of himself. He's doing the, the happy smirk. There, all done. Yay! Pretty good, huh? Now get lost. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Hey, mister? What? Great success! <laughs> yes, this is the, the riveting gameplay of this game. <laughs> Are you and that one guy friends? What one guy, Louie? I don't know, he's the guy in room 213. Him? No, he's a chump. Why did you think we're friends? Because I saw him coming out of your room. <gasps> oh! Oh, did he plant the money in my room? I thought you were talking or something. You saw him what? Drama! The mystery unfolds. So it was Angel. What's wrong, mister? Nothing, kid. Take your doll and go back to your room. The old man's probably wondering where you are. Okay. Melissa takes her doll and leaves. It is 8.40. Damn, we're gonna... We're getting through this hour pretty quick. I guess it's time to confront Jeff. It's probably been a decade since I played this. You've played this before too? So Jeff was in my room, was he? I think it's time he and I have a little chat and see where it goes from there. Oh, damn, we're already confronting him? That was quick. This chapter is really fucking fast. I have a long time ago? Yeah, this, this game is great. I remember I got it around the time it came out. And, uh, I remember I had so much trouble with the puzzles because they're a little bit... They're a little bit, um, hard... It's hard to tell what exactly they want you to do. And when you're a kid, you're kind of stupid. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? I love, always love that Dunning is busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> I don't remember that line, but I, I love... I, Dunning, I like all the characters in this, uh... In this game. Even, even the little... The, the shitty ones, like Jeff. They're all interesting. Nobody home, huh? Wonder whose room he's breaking into now. Wait a second. When I saw him in front of the restaurant... Ah. 
He'd just come out of the left hallway door. Bet he was up to no good on the other side. Yeah, true, he did just come out of the left hallway door. What was he doing there? But also, I, I never played uh, the second game in the series. Well, I just played a little bit of it, like a long time ago. But I hope uh, to actually get through that, that game sometime. Electrical room, boiler room. I wonder what room he was in. Ah, Jeff moaned. He knew he would have been a bad boy, but he couldn't let Kyle know. <laughs> Damn, did you did you know that people shipped those two like a long time ago? <laughs> he had been a bad, bad boy. Okay, so nothing in here. I forget where he'd been. Okay, we already had that mini game here. That that mini game that gave me so much trouble. Is there something in here? Oh, damn. Oh, actually, uh, we actually do search this. I was just uh, remembering something, I guess. I forgot there's something in here. What is this? Oh, there's nothing? Whoa! Oh! Ah! There's a fucking gun! What have we here? Oh, I found a pistol hidden in the laundry cart. <laughs> Guess someone didn't like the room service. Uh-oh. Who's there? Oh, okay, it's just Louie. It's just Louie. I thought that was stunning. I was gonna have a heart attack. Oh, Louie, it's you. Brother, you got to stop sneaking around. What you doing, anyway? Close your head, Louie. I, I just found something interesting. Hi, that's laundry. You find Dunning's used tidy whities or something? It's a gun. What? Yeah, in the linen cart. In the cart? Oh man, trip! Always wonder how people on emulators do the puzzle that require two simultaneous screen touches. Oh boy, thank you for the head pat. Hey, Draken. But uh, there's actually um. I remember when we were doing this on stream, we had to Google how to do it on emulator. And it's like, apparently you have to like, press one part of the game, you have to pause the game, you have to simulate a frame skip, and then you have to touch the other the other part that you want to simultaneously touch. And it took us like a good 10, 15 minutes. Thank you for the head pad again! Don't wear down my head! <laughs> Don't fucking erode my, my skull. But yeah, it, that, that minigame was already a pain in the ass to do on the actual DS, but doing it on the emulator was even more of a pain in the ass. You're playing with me, ain't you? Yo, did you break into the bar or something? Cause you're talking like a crazy man. Wait, for real? You really find a piece? Come on, man, let me see it. Here it is. Also, I really like Louie. He's funky. Holy crap! What kind of crazy person hides something like that here? Rosa ain't been in here today, you know? You know I ain't doing laundry unless I have to. Maybe it was that one guy. Also, how's it going, Draken? Any guests use the laundry today? Yeah, man. Dude in 213, that Jif Angel guy? J Jif? Jeff Angel? <laughs> he was wandering up and down the hall, so I gave him a holler. Asked if we had a laundry room, and I told him where it was. Angel, huh? Figures. Where's the little prince? Where's the little prince think he is, man? This ain't the Brits, you know? Something about him gives me the willies. Plus, he does nothing but cry and moan. Ooh, moan. 
I don't like what's on the menu. My bed's too hard. Guy won't shut up. I want to tell him to take his pansy ass out of here and run home to mama. Oh, and now? And now? He's wailing about how all his crap got stolen. I tell ya, man, he's driving Dunning nuts. Old man spitting nails. Yes, <laughs> he's crying and moaning. Moan. Hey, Senti, welcome. You know, Senti, you, you're just uh, you j just reminding me about what happened during the stream last night, and ah! I hope you're doing well, Senti. I hope classes aren't killing you. I'm doing pretty well. Just uh, just chilling, playing hotel desk. Yes, the CBT thing. I was like half asleep. And I woke up this morning and I remembered. And I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I did that. Mario Kart break before going back to Nihongo? I'm glad you're doing well, Draken. I hope you have fun with Mario Kart. Oh yeah, didn't the DLC come out? Yeah. Oh yeah, how you doing, Senti? Oh, I got stolen from Jeff. Cash? What else, right? But listen to this. Guy lost 20 G's. Can you believe that? Who has that kind of moolah in a hotel? Guys with that much cash must have done something dirty, right? So he claims someone lifted 20 large from him, huh? That's his story. I feel that when half asleep, I also just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's like... Being half asleep is about as incapacitating as, like, being high or something. I feel like I do shit that I would do when I'm high, when I'm half asleep. Just being a lazy ass, but about to get up to do shit, homework and stuff? Well, it's it's okay to be a lazy ass. The weekend is for that, by the way, is for that after all. The weekend is, is the perfect time to be lazy. I've been high? I will not dis- well, yeah. In the past. But, uh... <laughs> I won't lie. But I wish you luck with your homework. Based high on fly crisps. What do you think y'all been giving me? <laughs> His cash is in my room. Whoa. I found it wrapped in a plastic bag in my room's toilet. Okay, now I know you're playing with old Louie. Who'd go and do something like that? You tell me. I went downstairs after I found it, and Jeff was already yapping away. So you think... Yeah, I think. Timing was too close to be a coincidence. And here's the kicker. I got an eyewitness. Melissa saw Jeff come out of my room. No way! What a dirtbag. What you gonna do, Hyde? Dunning's thinking about calling in the cops on this, and LAPD is no joke. You gotta watch your step, brother. You're right. Last thing I need is to get caught up in Hollywood drama. Especially now that I found a lead on Bradley. Hold it, you got a lead? Did you find something in room 217? A lighter. A lighter? That's right, looks just like the one Bradley carried. So the cat... What stayed here six months ago under your name was... That's my hunch. Yeah, but if that's true... Why'd the dude use your name, man? And why is he staying here in the first place? No clue, Louie. That's what I've got to find out. But first, I have to clear up these distractions. I dig your brother. That punk Jeff's planning something. We gotta make him talk. Gotta find out why he's trying to set you up. My thoughts exactly. We gotta trick him, yeah? Make him slip up and do something stupid. He ain't from the streets. He's some spoiled rich punk. We can roll him easy. Alright, Louie, let's do it. Hell yeah. How do we play it? Hmm, I guess, hmm. Wait, wait, we could... Nah. <laughs> okay, got it. Check this out, my man. Yeah? Damn, these two are, are, are such good bros. So, such good bros. They're totally not gay. I get Jeff to come out of his room, right? And then while he's gone, 
I go in and give the place a quick shakedown. Bingo! I bet my last dime there's something in his room that'll nail him. I think you're right. So, so you want... Okay, this is some weird editing mistake. So you want... So should I go ahead and set the trap? You got any dirty cop tricks I can use? Beat sticks or sweet talk or that kind of crap? Think you could create a distraction? <laughs> Check this out, my man. Hey, Bebop. Coming in with the boom, 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 boom. How's it going? Not an editing mistake, just 80 speak? Really? Really? My my brain the wires in my brain got crossed reading that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can do that. Punk's in room 213 and the room next to him is vacant. So room 214 is where I'll do my thing. I'll go there and uh, uh get his attention by making a bunch of loud noises or something. That's some plan. Don't sweat me, man. Look, I'll get him out of his room. And I'll just keep him busy for a while. You dig? I guess that'll work. Yep, really? Damn, Bebop, you know everything. Okay, let's go in five. All you gotta do is go and wait in 217, yeah? Louie finishes talking and rushes out of the room. Damn, Louie's a real bro. I know I can always rely on Louie. So I just gotta go in room 217. Let's go. Also, let me save real quick. Ah! Louis a real froge. He is. <laughs> Froges are bros. They're 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 all bros. The best bros you could ask for. Wait, why am I knocking? There's no one in here. Let's go win! Here's my spot. Doodle bra- Doodle brunch. <laughs> that- That was great timing. That was like, slam, kawump! <laughs> Our, 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 um, our signal is, is the huge reverb part. That's when we know we can go into Jeff's room. <laughs> Slam, kawump. Hey, somebody help! Help! Real subtle there, Louie. Holy shit, I think this is the first time we've seen the sprite. He looks kind of, he looks kind of, like, derpy in this. Just joined this game already. Looks cool. Hello, Axiom Leo. Welcome. Yeah, this game is pretty pog. I, I really like I really like this game. Also, how's it going? Okay, so it looks like Jeff got out of his room. Okay, hi, time to go to work. I can't believe that worked on him. <laughs> Louis did a big fart to distract Jeff. Someone help! I just shitted and farted! <laughs> okay, I gotta look around. I think there's something in his bag. Fart! <laughs> the, the, that's a good, uh, a good fart. It hits different. I came for Tuki, stayed for the Defrange. Awesome! So, ha did you come from like a from a Tuki stream? Like, did you watch one of my Tuki streams in the past? There's a bag on the sofa. Look what's in his bag. Got the room 215 key. <gasps> so Jeff's got the master key to my room, huh? You old prick. Valid based E. Oh, thank you, Axiom Leo! I really appreciate that! Yes, I, I upload my VODs to YouTube, but they're so behind right now. I think I only uploaded uh, through February last year. <laughs> but I really do appreciate anyone who likes my videos on YouTube. Thank you. Here, I'll give a little love. 
It's an empty beer can. Just one? Huh. Only one beer can? Pussy. There's a small stand in the corner of the room. Aw, yeah, I got the little love. Yes, I'm very happy. Because I'm definitely behind on what I upload to YouTube. I uploaded, like, most of my March of last year videos, but they're all um, in draft right now. I haven't made them public yet. Thank you for the head pat! There's something in the jacket pocket. Oh, this is his actual name. Jeff's student ID. The name on the card is Jeff Damon. Jeff Damon. Damon, I've heard that name before. Wait, is he a college student? He looks like one. Oh, right. It was in the lobby paper. It seems there was a burglary in Beverly Hills last night. Quite brazen, really. See, look, this part was important. Everything in this game has a reason. Or has a reason to be there. The victim was an attorney named Larry Damon. Mr. Damon happens to be a friend of mine, you see? I do hope he's doing well. What the hell? Is the attorney in that article Jeff's father? Let's see anything else here. Anything on the desk? My nice desk. Wish my room had one of those. He gets the special treatment. Now, this isn't the same CB I've seen in the other rooms. There's a checkered chair in front of the desk. Okay, I forget what else I need to search. Uh, the bed? Bed's a mess. He doesn't make his bed. <laughs> what a pansy. Just kidding. I don't make my bed either. I, I I am in my bedroom, and my bed is over there. Just all disheveled. Does anyone here actually make their bed? Hey, Franj, what's your favorite food? I love, um, soup. I guess that's, like, a type of food, but, like, uh, my mom's Vietnamese, so I really like the pho that she makes, and sh the bun reel that she makes. The bun reel is like this tomato soup with like crab and beef meat, and it has tofu in it. It is very nice. Soup is good. Making the bed is not cool. Yeah, you gotta leave it. You gotta leave it disheveled like a rebel. I love pho. Yeah, pho is so good. I actually just had some yesterday. Another still life painting on the wall. I've seen a few, a few of those. I need pho again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever had like homemade pho, or do you usually just get pho from a uh, from restaurant? You haven't had it since you were seven. Holy shit! Either you're you're a kid or. It's been a really long time since you had it. <laughs> but damn, that is a long time. You need to have it again. Or like a depressed person, that is also true of me. <laughs> I just want sushi. Raw fish make my brain go brr. It makes you very happy. I usually like sushi with cooked fish, but I've tried the raw fish sushi and I've grown, it, it's grown on me over the years. A really long time. Yeah, you need a, you need someone to, to get you some pho. Well, I guess it depends on where you go. Uh, not not where you go, where you live, how easy it is to get it. Because depending on where you live, it's really easy to just go out and get it at a restaurant. Also, tempura rolls or eel. I've never had... E Have I had eel before? Tempura rolls are the shit, though. I love fried stuff. Now I'm all hungry. I was hungry before too, but then I had some some chippy. Before stream, I mean. If you get sushi, get the hungry man sushi? What's in the hungry man sushi? I've never heard of that. Sweet and kind of rubbery, but oh, it tastes so good. It's sweet on its own? That's interesting. 
Also, I have no idea where I'm supposed to look in this room. There's a small stand next to the bed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah! Whew. I just accidentally minimized the window. You just saw a little mini, mini Kyle for a second. Oh, his bathroom. I guess I could look in, I could look in the toilet and be like, hmm, this is where Jeff shits. Yeah, it's a toilet. I don't need to look any further. Hey, Cries, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. I love all those, all those wiggly emotes. Salmon, salmon roe, fried onion, Ooh. Tastes a bit buttery. I love buttery, uh, not buttery salmon, sa buttery sushi. That sounds good. <laughs> I wish I had a lover. Well, nothing I can do to, to help you there, Games Ideas Maker. But I hope you can find one. I hope you can find someone who is good for you, good to you. Salmon row. I the last time I had salmon row was um, when I went to Japan and I got some kind of onigiri, and I only understood that it had the word salmon on the label, so I ate it. But I thought it was salmon instead of salmon row. It was salmon row, and then I got really sad. I, I, I wish you luck in finding a good lover too, Axiom. I want I want onigiri. Onigiri is so good. I wish I could I could have onigiri too. But it's hard to find it without going to an Asian market or something. Okay, so wellness pack. Sit up straight. Stretch. Oy. See it. You know, maybe I should try salmon roe again. I, um... It's been like five, not five years, four years since I've had it. So my taste might have changed. I was always like, what was it, intimidated by it because it wasn't meat. I was just like, what the fuck, fish eggs? It's toilet paper, yes, yes. It's a bottle of shampoo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sinks as clean as kids can be, Rosa deserves a raise. She does. For once, I'd like to see some towels that look like they've been used. You've said that before, Kyle. Yep, Rosa's def definitely been here. It's spotless. Where the fuck do I go? Nope, not here. Do I go out? Huh? Oh yeah, so I was supposed to leave. Okay. What's the deal? Jeff closes the door and comes into the room. What are you doing in here? This is my room. Oh, you know when you hear that music that we're about to have an interrogation. TBH, I was like that too. I'm a picky eater and back when I was 15, my mom made me try it and now I love all kinds of sushi. Awesome. I love how eating salmon roe is what made you less of a picky eater. Also ramen. Rami, ramen is, is the best shit. I love ramen. Smooch Jeff. Yeah, this is this is like a... What if you imagine this is like the beginning of a fan fiction? Kyle goes in the Jeff's room. Jeff walks in. They smooch. <laughs> you want to make yakisoba? I, I'm sure you can make it. I'm not sure what goes into making it, but it's basically just stir fry, right? But with like different noodles and like you put all kinds of meat in it, like a certain sauce. I hope it turns out good if you make it. Despite how cute Jeff, Jeff looks, he seems like an asshole. Oh, Jeff is definitely an asshole. He is a bad, bad boy. Also a prick. He's like a pretty boy asshole. That's what makes the fanfic though? Yeah. Cause Kyle Jeff has been a prick. Kyle gives him a punishment. That that's that's the premise of the of the uh, fanfiction. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. You better get out of here now. Yeah? I thought it was the kitchen. Ain't Rosa around here somewhere? <laughs> 
Are you trying to be funny? Are you laughing at me? Well, laugh this off. I'm la laugh this off. I'm calling the front desk and getting the police over here. Bad idea, pal. You're the last person who wants to see the cops. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just a feeling I got. Now wait, just one. So here we are in your room. Just a couple of guys having a harmless chat. It's a little doing a little smooching. Tell me something, Jeff. You gotta thank for cops and robbers, right? Oh shit, you gotta thank for cops? Bad idea, pal. I'll fucking murder you in this room. <laughs> no, please, Kyle, don't become a murderer. The punishment is eating 99 bowls of fried bull bollocks. Oh shit, that doesn't sound tasty. Oh, they, they fucking fuck. <laughs> Is a little casual B and E a crime? That's breaking and entering. If you're confused, I I know it is all right. I'm not stupid. Of course it's a crime. Now get out of my room. Oh yeah, I'm going. Don't you worry about it. But tell me something. Since you're so smart and all, why'd you do it? Do what? Would you eat a loaf of bread that had all the air sucked out and squished down to the size of a golf bread ball? Yes, I would eat it. <laughs> Into a little CBT, Jeff? I could give you a little CBT. Also, one second, I gotta blow my nose. <sighs> my nose so itchy! <laughs> What'd you do when you broke into my room, huh? Watch TV? Nap on the bed? Are you accusing me of something? Yes, I- yes, I am obviously accusing you of breaking into my room. Time to sing, little birdie. You would cash in my job. <laughs> FTT. Frog and toad torture? No, please, no torture. Don't torture me. Ass. Ass, 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 ass. I'm just thinking about the little, little frog cake booming around. You had a stack of cash inside the toilet tank, didn't you? Huh? Look, if I had a stack of cash, I'm sure I wouldn't hide it in somebody's toilet, okay? God, this one expression that he has, I'm just like, oh god, Jeff. I'm gonna play dumb, huh? Unless you have proof, I think you should drop it. Oh, got pr oh, I got proof. I got all the proof I need. I got an eyewitness. I've got an eyewitness who saw you come out of my room. Uh, yeah, nice comeback. Oh, and I also know about the piece you stashed in the cart. Knock it off. You can't just say things like that. I don't know how people can lie like this. If someone if someone catches me in the act of something and they say, I know you did this and I actually did it, I start I just break down. I'm like, I'm sorry! I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we got that little boom boom over there. Jeff, you hit a frog in my room. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just imagine like instead of hiding cash in his toilet. Like, Kyle is like, why is the floor all wet? He opens up the toilet seat, and then he sees me. He sees me, and I'm just like, Hi! Hello! Hello there! Give me chip! Please, I'm hungry! He has a shit eating grin, you know? He would be a terrible Among Us player? He's too suspicious. Give it up, kid. You're not getting away with this. Why do you do something so stupid anyway? Do 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 Oh, I love this music. Hello, I fell in. Please help. Yeah, that's me when I uh it's just me after I like go on a a bathroom break during stream and I accidentally fall in. Like Kyle, please help me! I need to get back to stream! There's a reason you hid that cash in my room. You wanted to see me take the fall. Look, I didn't hide any cash in your room. How would I ever get in there? What? If you're going to say things like that, 
You better have proof. Proof? I do have proof. I have that key. Guess I need something more to nail this punk. The key. The, the, the key. Oh. You want to tell me what you're doing with this? And now I ask him? It's like that scene in Spongebob where he hides in the toilet and when another dude opens it, it's a real sponge and he's like, oh, that's real nice. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Just a little sponge. You better have zero knowledge proofs, Kyle. Otherwise, there's, there's no way you're getting access to the blockchain. God damn, is this an NFT game now? I told you I don't know anything about it. You're really getting on my nerves. I know why you hid the pistol in the laundry cart. You want to make somebody else into a criminal. I didn't hide a gun in the laundry cart. I don't know what you're talking about. Do I need to show him shit? I show him that? Why are you showing me that? Found this piece in the laundry room. That's where you hit it, right? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying, punk. Why are you so convinced that I hit it? But if you dusted it for prints, you'd only find yours. Oh, well, did you use gloves? He's very confident about that. Is my phone vibrating? Yeah, I had an alarm go off, but... I, I turn it off. How'd you hear that? <laughs> Good sir, I have fallen into the toilet pool. Bowl, please help a frog out. You'll be rewarded with a bounty of forest mushrooms, the lights of which you have never seen, and you'll get super high. Just like in the episode of Cowboy Bebop. Mushy mushy frange desu. Oh, did I miss a call? Everyone, everyone heard it? Yeah, it was on my laptop. <laughs> Yeah, I just had an alarm go off, but... Oh yeah, it, it was for taking medication. Let me take that now. I should probably actually take my medication on time for once. Someone points a gun at you. Why are you showing me that? <laughs> I, I'm guessing Kyle didn't point the gun straight at Jeff. But yeah, I was afraid that he was just gonna point it at Jeff and Jeff would freak out and be like, Why the fuck are you showing- are you pointing a gun at me? Speaking of which, oh yeah? What's that supposed to be? I don't know anything about it. That's your fucking school ID! It has your name on it! The real name is Jeff Damon, isn't it? No, it's not! How many times do I have to tell you? My name's Jeff Angel. What? If you're going to say things like that, you'd better have proof. Okay, now I need to show it to him. Guess I need something more to nail this punk. Okay, okay, so I need to show it to him now. The order of events here is a bit confusing. You have to take your meds? Yes, yes, go do that, Cries. I'm glad I reminded you. Mood, sometimes when I look at the time, I'm like, oh, it's five hours past when I was supposed to take my medication. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like the next day and you're like, oh, okay. You must not be very bright. I told you I don't know anything about that. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <sighs> do I ask him about it again? No, it's not. How many times do I have to tell you? My name's Jeff Angel. What the fuck? What do I do here? I totally forget about this. Shoot Jeff. <laughs> yeah, he duplicated the room key, but I already showed it to him. You wanted to make somebody else into a criminal? No, I didn't. I told you I don't know anything about that. Oh, what do I do? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, do I have to just keep doing it? 
Put that away. I told you, I don't know anything about that. Is the dot 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 meaning he'll he'll answer the question now? This is very frustrating. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? I think I might need to look up a guide. Do I get the newspaper? From downstairs? Do I leave the room? Oh. I guess I do leave the room. Wait a minute. What was that windbag summer going on about? Yeah, I think I think I need to get the newspaper. Do I want the answer? <laughs> Axiom! Yeah, you get the newspaper. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. He needs to... We need something to tie it all together. Yeah, so it, this, he's just uh, repeating what he said like 10 minutes ago. Uh, we get the, need to get the newspaper about the incident that Jeff was involved in. But uh, maybe he needs something to loosen him up. <laughs> we need to get the we need to get some lotion. Vine boom sound effect? Damn, remember when Vine was a thing? <laughs> I've brought lotion. He's like, why the fuck did you bring lotion? He's like, you will see soon. You get the 70 gallon drum of lube? Oh god. How, how heavy would that be? Kyle would need to bring that up like a flight of steps. What's in the paper today? Home of the prominent Bever Beverly Hills attorney burglarized. The Beverly Hills home of attorney Larry Damon was burglarized last night. Police say 20k and a pistol were taken from the safe in the study. The perpetrators then fled the scene in Damon's car. The police spokesman said they're actively pursuing the case. Picked up the lobby newspaper. So that's it, huh? The cash from my John is from this robbery. And so is the pistol. 560 pounds or so? Damn, Kyle would need to be buff, but I think he's out of shape. He doesn't look like he goes to the to the gym very often. He's probably just like naturally strong, but like he probably used to work out. The door won't Oh. Will he let me back in? That's Kyle Hyde. I've got nothing to talk to you about. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Do I just... Do I break into his room? Okay. <laughs> Kick down the fucking door. How the fuck am I supposed to get it? Ah! Hmm. Keep knocking? It just keeps repeating the same thing. Where's Louie, by the way? Ah! <laughs> Who was that? Cries! A little farter. Tell him that you got a special delivery. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Louie, by the way? Special delivery consisting of some fine imports from China. He's like, I didn't order that shit. <laughs> it's the brap, brap apocalypse. Okay, first let me save in case I get caught by Dunning or something.
Damn, I thought this chapter was gonna be short, but then this- this shit happened. Door's locked. I thought I could get the key from here or something. This game reminds me of Sayo no Uta. No! <laughs> no! I mean, it probably reminds you of it because it's also a visual novel, but... Sayo no Uta is like so much more morbid. And also hentai. Okay, Louie, open up. Let me look up a guide for this. I don't want to do this shit. Chapter 5, Hotel Dusk Guide. Probably the investigative part? Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> Thank you for the head, Pat! Chapter 5. Oh, okay. So I have to get everything else that I need. Never mind. So apparently, um, I have to get the cash too. Because I still have the cash in my suitcase. Apparently, there's something on the front desk. I'm not sure. I don't know why I said the, the front desk. I think it just meant get the newspaper from there. But that's a bit strange that, uh... Unless it was because I skipped through the dialogue that said that we need to get the newspaper. Um... I did not know that we needed to get the fucking 20k in cash, too. That's a bit uh, obscure. Cash. I pull a stack of cash out of my suitcase. This would have taken me forever to figure out. Would y'all have known to get the cash from the suitcase in order to get Jeff to answer the door? Nah, yeah, it's... It's fucking... So weird. I'm not talking to you. Go away. Open up. You asked for proof. I've got proof. You're busted, kid. Maybe eventually, but like days later? Yeah, it would have taken me so long to figure that out. There are just some parts of Hotel Dust that I'm just like, Oh, you wanted me to do that? No! Axiom! I can't believe it. This tragedy. Why did it have to befall you? Fruity pebbles are the best with milk. I know what you did in Beverly Hills. What? Let me in. One way or another, I'm coming in. Alright, alright, come in. A fate worse than death, truly. Alright, so before we investigate him, I need to go to the bathroom real quick to empty myself. So, I will be right back. BRB. He's coming!
All right, I am back. Did y'all miss me? Y'all miss me? Thankfully, I did not fall into the toilet. Unlike the time where I fell into Kyle Hyde's toilet, but maybe I did that on purpose. Maybe I, I, I did it on purpose because it was Kyle Hyde. <laughs> oh my god, that shitty grin. Okay, so I gotta show him the cash. Or maybe the newspaper first. Hey. That article. The guy who got robbed in Beverly Hills is named Damon. The same name that's on the student ID. That's... And guess what was taken from the Damon residence? 20 large and a gun. Er... Uh, yep, that got him. That's... What are you doing with this much scratch? You steal it from mommy and daddy? Uh... There's a reason you hid that cash in my room. You had to hide the cash. You didn't have a better place to hide it, right? Oh no, never mind. He wanted he wanted to talk. He wanted to blame it on me. Shit. I hope I don't fail this. I know why you hid the pistol in the laundry cart. You wanted to make somebody else into a criminal. No, I didn't. I told you I blah, 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 blah. Do I have to show it to him again? Ah okay, so now I, I just need to show all the things to him again or something. Yeah, he's reacting differently now. This guy is a bad liar, yeah. It's a pretty bad liar. Hey, that's my student ID. Now he finally says it. Hey, Jeff, check out this mini sewing machine. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> he's like, why the fuck are you showing that to me? Yeah, he's like a child. I mean, honestly, he kind of is, um, at least mentally. Because he probably grew up pretty privileged in and stuff. You wanted it found. It's because you wanted somebody to find it. You stole the gun from your own house. Yeah, so what? You just wanted attention. Your real name is... Jeff Damon. This one's easy. <laughs> Jeff Damon. The proof's on your student ID. Er... Why are you hiding your real name? It's my father's name. I don't need it. He's got daddy issues. Okay, that that's even more of, of a basis for fanfiction, alright? Daddy Kyle Hyde. An asshole pretty boy with daddy issues. No, Draken! Why'd you do that? Fuck. One second. After this question. Why'd you put the gun where somebody would find it? I figured they'd call the cops once it got found. That's all. Cursing bad? Well, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you again. Anyway, I will be doing 10 squats. Ah! One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of needed that. My lower back's been aching because I just shit. I don't shit all the time, I sit all the time. Why you hate your old man's name so much? I don't want to have a jerk like him as my father. That's why. The Frange 
like reacted to your squats? Yeah, it does that. You can be honest to chat? No, I am being honest. No, I, I don't shit all the time. How is that possible? <laughs> How is it possible to shit all the time? How can you create that much shit? <coughs> Mr. Hyde, will you be my new dad? Be my daddy. Mr. Hyde? What? You're nothing, you know that? I expected more from you. Nothing? You can't help me. Get out of my room. Oh no, did I fail it? Now. Huh? Fuck, I failed it. Made my way back to room, room 215. What did I do to screw that up? I just screwed up one, an one answer. Getting nowhere at the speed of light. I'll never find Bradley at this rate. You're a loser, Hyde. A two-bit, no-good, useless loser. Don't be so hard on yourself. Oh my god, he's being so hard on himself. I spent the rest of the night alone in my room. I didn't have the courage to go out again. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Kyle. If you eat a lot of chips, I could see it. No. No. Yeah, I need to load it. What? It's starting off from there? Yeah, I saved it like 11 minutes ago, so... I think it was after I got the newspaper. Yeah, we have the newspaper, but we just need the cash. I will save right before we get to his door. Oh, yeah. Kyle, you have some self-esteem issues that you need to sort out. Same. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. The same for me. Thank you! Thank you for the bless you. I'll probably sneeze a bunch more times after that. I have bad allergies. Alright, time to save here. My eyes are... I'm so... Watery and itchy. I love how slowly the suitcase closes. I didn't even notice that, honestly. That's a good, good, um, observation. <laughs> Imposing suitcase. It will close at its own pace. Alright, blah blah blah. You asked me for proof, I got proof. <sighs> I am suffering. Allergies are suffering. Frong is stretch. <laughs> stretch. No stretch. Okay, I gotta show him all the stuff. It won't let me skip through because I it doesn't know that I've already been here. Oh actually is it? All right, we got that. We got the cash. That's... What are you doing with this much money? My pistol. This is a pain in the ass, honestly. He's feeling the heat.
I like how his student ID is in black and white as well. <laughs> Alright, so now we can ask him the questions. There's a reason you wanted trouble. You wanted to cause a big stink. So you took the master key to my room and hid the money in the john. Uh, those aren't the actions of your average Joe, pal. The only one who's gonna get hurt in this mess is you. So why'd you do it? Twenty large? Just something to play with for you? You mistake me for a sap that would just take the fall? Is this a game to you? That it? Stop playing the fool and grow up. Ooh, Kyle, you said it. Grow up. Like I haven't heard that before. You sound just like him, you know? Oh, he's got big daddy issues. That makes me so mad. Stop treating me like I'm stupid. I'm not a kid. Yes, you are. Don't pretend to know one single thing about me. It's because you wanted somebody to find it. You stole the gun from your own house. Yeah, so what? You sound a lot like my daddy. I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, can kind of relate. Honestly? Same. My dad was an asshole. Your real name is... Jeff Damon. The proof's on your student ID. Er... Why are you hiding your real name? It's my father's name. I don't need it. Who do I sound like? Huh? I told you to grow up, right? You said I sounded like somebody. Yeah, like my papa. You call him Papa? Papa? You telling me you call your old man Papa? That's right, what of it? Uh, n nothing, I guess. So, uh, what kind of man is your Papa? What kind of man is he? What's he do for a living? He's a lawyer. Lawyer, huh? Sounds like he's got his act together. Not even close. Look, I've had about. You're wrong. Dead wrong. My papa's a total scumbag. <laughs> the mo My mom is the problem. My dad is the cool one. Yeah, un unfortunately, it's like. Why do people. Like. Why has it gotta be at, at least one of them? Why can't both parents just be cool, you know? Unfortunately, there are a lot of times where at least one of the parents is an asshole. You call him Big Papa Jeff? Huh? You wanna call me Papa? Why'd you put the gun where somebody would find it? I figured they'd call the cops once it got found. That's all. Why you hate your old man's name so much? I don't want to have a jerk like him as my father. That's why. Okay, let me let me do a save state just in case. Just in case. Your old man as bad as all that? Worse. He's an arrogant scumbag who thinks he's always right about everything. And he doesn't trust anyone but himself. Not even his own family. Oh. We got it right? We passed? Look, kid, I don't care if your name's Angel or Damon or McGillicuddy or- Got it? What kind of last name is McGillicuddy? I don't even care whose money that is. All I want to know is why you did it. You think I know? Why are we talking about this? Nobody understands me. Give it a rest, will ya? You're an open book, kid. Had you pegged from the moment I laid eyes on you. You're such a liar. What do you think you know about me? Where do you want me to start? Never worked a day in your life, so you got no idea about the true value of money. That's why you can steal 20 grand from your old man without a blinking without blinking an eye. Pegged? <laughs> We're just finding all the sexual innuendos in this whole chapter. That's why you could take it and use it and lose it just to get a little attention. Mm -hmm. 
You never used a gun in your life. Oh sure, you imagine what it would be like. But you got no idea what it's like to pull the trigger. To take a life. You got no idea what it takes to bleed a man out and watch his light go. That's why you toss a gun into the laundry cart like it means nothing. I don't know what set you, what set you off, but I know you want to put a scare into Papa. That's why you took his cash and his heater and ran like hell. Of course, you didn't know what to do with them after you stole them. And after you showed your belly and ran, you had nowhere to go. So you find a girl on the road with a hotel brochure, and you end up here. God, the art in this game is so good. And that's when you meet me. Just some down with his luck salesman, not too bright, not too dangerous. You plant the goods on me, then sit back and wait for Papa to love you again. I... I didn't... I wasn't... Enough. I did not come to this hellhole just to hear you bleat like a damn sheep. You're going to tell me everything, and you're going to do it now. Do not make me ask twice. Oh, damn, he's giving off big Papa energy. Oh, I love that music because that means we are at the end of the chapter. All right, all right. What do I say? I mean, you're right. You lived in the world. Me? I mean, I'm just a kid. I'm nothing. Just a spoiled little rich kid. This I know. Keep going. It's... it's true. Everything you said is true. I can't stand my papa. I can't forgive him for who he is and what he does. I did all of this just to get under his skin. I didn't plan it. I just opened the safe and grabbed the stuff and ran. But I didn't know what he'd done until I saw the newspaper. He knew it was me who took his precious money and his damn gun. He knew it was me and he still called the cops. You know what my parents are doing right now? Mom's crying on the sofa. And Papa, he's telling her how he's doing this for me, teaching me a lesson. You want to know what my Papa's like, right? Let me tell you. Hitting him right in the daddy issues, yeah. <laughs> just talking to him like that. He's a defense lawyer, and not just any lawyer, the best. A genius. Hire Papa and he'll convince a jury that black is white and night is day. That's why people spend a fortune getting him to defend them. And if you can pay, it doesn't matter what you've done. Theft? Okay. Assault? Sure. Tax evasion? No problem. Murder? He's your man. He'll go to bat for anyone, even organized crime. Hell, especially organized crime. Organized crime? Yeah, right now he's working for a group of lowlives called Nail or Nile or something. What? Jeff's old man is working for Nile? Oh, kid. Yeah, that's who he is. That's my papa. Scum of the earth. Where'd you learn all this? He'd bring these men by the house from time to time. Unsociable types, you know? Of course he has something to do with this. Papa said they had business they couldn't discuss at the office. I happened to overhear some of their conversations, and that's how I found out. That these guys were part of Nile, I mean. That's it, huh? Papa brings home a lot of men! Oh my god! <laughs> Just how we're framing all this, goddamn. Pops is getting filthy, filthy rich off of what these guys are paying him for his sex. So it's cool that I uh, boosted a small chunk of it, right? 20,000 is a small chunk? I'm in the wrong business. So what's the plan? Since I learned Papa called the cops, I've been thinking. He wants me to come crawling home with my tail in between my legs. And hey, why not, right? That's what I've always done. But I've changed. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to embarrass him. That's why I did all of this and tried to get Dunning to call the police. I figure they'll get here, see through my story, and, erase and arrest me. My being arrested will cause all kinds of trouble for Papa. Then the press will come and ask why I did it, and I'll tell them. I'll tell them what a crook Papa is. I'll tell them all the dirty stuff he's doing. Well, you know, uh, isn't that the job of defense 
Attorneys, I know like defense attorneys are looked down upon because they defend everyone, even the guilty people, but like, isn't that their job? Nothing suspicious about hot, sweaty men hanging around in a small room and giving you money. Ha! Huh. What's so funny? You know something, kid? I've seen dumb before, but it's not often I meet stupid. What? You trying to punch your old man's ticket to the morgue? I don't... Knock this crap off. I toss the cash, the gun, and the student ID on the floor. This is yours. Take it and go home. Go see your father. You think this is a good plan? Think you're smart? What happens when you go to the press and talk about how your old man's mobbed up? You think Niall's just going to sit back and do nothing? Go ahead, shoot your mouth off. You and the old man can push up daisies together. Yeah, true. If, if they talk against Niall, they're probably going to get shot. But shut up. You want your papa away from Niall? Thank you for the head pat! Thank you, Draken. I hope you have a good time with your Nihongo learn a lot of Nihongo. You want your papa away from Nile? You want him to keep breathing? Here's what you do. Take your sorry ass home and never do anything like this again. But how... How am I... What am I supposed to do then? You want the old man to change? You change first. Stop depending on him for everything. Try standing on your own two feet. Mr. Hyde... Do that, and your old man will come around. You'll be showing him how to live. Now get out of here. Kyle's speaking the truth. Preach! Damn. Looks like I've wrapped up Jeff and his burglary fiasco, but still can't believe Jeff's old man has ties to Nile. The coincidences are piling up faster than I can count. How many times have I heard the name Nile since I've been here? I better take a breather and clear my head. I need to have all this sorted out before I go on. Time for our chapterly quiz! Straight facts. One second, I'm gonna stretch a bit. Haru, Haru Supernova. Thank you. After I heard Summer's confession, I went back to my room. Then Rachel called and told me about the painting, Angel Opening a Door. I like your enthusiasm? Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Speaking of fiasco, the whole game feels like a play session of the tabletop game named Fiasco. Really? What's, what's a fiasco about? Seems the thing was stolen from a New York art museum three years ago. We talked, but I went to meet Rosa and ended up running into Jeff. Jeff asked me... Um... Oh yeah, this is what he asked me. That's right. That's what the punk said. He was grinning from ear to ear like he was glad he got robbed. I kind of forgot about it, but I'm developing a game similar to Yuminiki called Aozora. Blue Sky? Is it a Yuminiki fan game? I wish you luck. Fiasco is just like a collaborative storytelling game. It always devolves into crazy connections and shit like this. Ah, I see. <laughs> it sounds interesting. Maybe we can play it sometime for a game night or something. If there's like an online version of it, I don't know. I heard from Rosa that Mila was running a fever. I went to check up on her and use my notebook to chat with her. I learned that her father's name is... Robert Evans. 
Inspired by it. Oh, okay. Kind of like, uh, like Dreaming Sarah and like, uh... What was it? There's like a phone... something phone? Like games that are inspired by it, but not like directly a fan game. The bracelet she wears was a gift from him. I did my best Betsy Ross imitation and sewed up Melissa's rag doll. That's when Melissa told me she'd seen Jeff coming out of my room. I knew Jeff was trouble, so I went back and gave the laundry room a quick search. What I found there was unexpected. It was... A gun! That's right. I found it under a mountain of sheets in the laundry cart. Nice piece, too. Requires basically nothing to play, so we could... It would be so chaotic. Everyone makes characters within a game genre and pick from a reference book. Ah. I got in a pile of cash or common ones. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, it does it does sound like this is just like a playthrough of a a fiasco or something. Although like games like this always end up having the characters like connected in some way, in some like weird coincidental way. Louis waltzed into the laundry room, so I told him about the pistol and the cash. We both figured Jeff was involved somehow and decided to roll him up. While Louis kept Jeff busy, I took a little stroll through his room. I patted down Jeff's jacket and found... a student ID. That's right, I found Jeff's student ID in the breast pocket of his coat. <laughs> breast. I saw the name of the card and realized that Jeff was using a fake name. I put together proof that Jeff was lying through his teeth. Then I stuck his feet to the coals and asked why he was trying to stir up trouble. Jeff told me all about his idiotic plan and how he was ticked off at his old man. His father's name is Larry Damon and he makes a living as a... Lawyer! About a boy whose dreams start to spill into reality. Oh, that sounds interesting. It's kind of like... I remember I played Persona 2. And Persona 2... At least Innocent Sin is about how, like, rumors affect reality. I, I like those kinds of, like, plots where, like, supernatural, like, affects reality. Jeff's father is a lawyer. Knocked me for a loop when I heard he was hired mouth- he was a hired mouthpiece for Nile. Um, uh, my sinuses are so blocked up. Yeah, I really like the rumor spreading element too. It's very cool. Jeff's yarn was sad in a pitiful sort of way. Another father and son story gone wrong. It did convince me of one thing though. People do stupid things. <laughs> but when you ask them, they always got a reason. Tell me, Bradley. Why'd you do it? For what price did you sell our trust? Your soul? Maybe that's all I want to know. Maybe that's why I'm chasing ghosts and lies. The sun sets, and hotel dusk retreats in the darkness. How poetic. Like the shadows that creep across the floor, I'm moving toward an answer. And my love. Save your game? Yep. He has a weapon like in all Yume games. It's an old axe. Nice. I don't think- have I seen an axe in a Yume Nikki fan game before? I don't think so. Well, surprisingly, I've seen hair be used as a weapon. 9 to 10 p.m. I forget how late this game goes. I know that there are 10 chapters, so- Well, congrats, guys. We're halfway through the game. Chainsaw is a gas-powered axe when you think about it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Nine o'clock, bar's open. Hell, I cleared up that mess with Angel. Might as well celebrate with a drink. Yeah, time to drink with the old mafia lady. I forget what her what her backstory is. God damn it! Stop calling me every hour! Phone again. 
They called la at 8 o'clock, too. The phone's ringing. I love this rendition of the song. I like Rachel's. I think is this Rachel's theme? Gas-powered swirly axe. Axe chop tree. Chainsaw chop tree. Therefore, chainsaw is axe. Or is an axe a chainsaw? Hey, sweetie. Hey, yeah, gorgeous. Well, you seem to be feeling better. Listen, Ed's back. I'll put him through. I want to talk to Rachel. I want Rachel to call me sweetie. <laughs> Hi, it's Ed. What's the good word? Louie and me had a little chat about his pal Danny. I'm listening. Louie Louis wasn't involved in the murder, and he didn't make off with the cash either. Yeah? So who iced him? Bradley. What? Seems Bradley was working for Niall under the name of Jay. Jay? That's a hell of an alias. Louie and Danny had a meet scheduled, but Bradley crashed the party. Well, I'll be damned. He blew Danny away and took a painting the kid had swiped from Niall's hideout. Bradley also got the money Danny was using to close the deal. Niall's money. This was three years back, right before I met Bradley on the docks. At least, that's Louie's story. For what it's worth, I think he's playing me straight. I want Rachel to beat me over the head with that 1979 phone? <laughs> Is that what you're into, Bebop? Are you a masochist? Makes sense. Keep talking. I told Louie I was still on the hunt for Bradley. He put two and two together and told me everything. Now he wants to help out. Keep saying we're partners. Har, revenge makes strange bad bedfellows. Bedfellows? That's kind of gay. Yeah, there's more. When I checked in, I heard a guy with my name had stayed here. Partners. He wants to be partners with me. Also, Bradley was his partner when he was a cop. Happened about six months ago. Anyway, I searched the room the guy stayed in and found a lighter. It makes you laugh. <laughs> Just a uh, commission Quero to animate Rachel beating you over the head with the 1979 phone. Anyway, I searched the room the guy stayed in and found a lighter. Oh yeah? Yeah, and it's a lighter I remember well, if you follow. You tell me Bradley stayed at that hotel? That what you're thinking? Could be. Uh-huh. You thinking you can pick up his trail? Worst things could happen. Tell me something, Hyde. Why are you still chasing this ghost? He's no ghost. You hate him. That it? And I... I love him. Gay is so awesome? Yeah. Gay, gay is pretty pog. Gayness is pog. It's sending out the Koro signal right now, hell yeah. And I... Hell, I understand. Bradley was your partner. Your friend. Friend? One day he double crosses you and the world gets a little bit colder. So you trail him to the docks and give him the lead kiss. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking gay! That's not... And when his mug don't turn up with all the other floaters in the Hudson? You go after him again. Even losing the badge can't stop you. Bruh. I know, right? That's so fucking gay. Hate like that eats a man alive. It isn't hate, Ed. Never was. I just need to know why he did what he did. Why he sold me out. Bradley had a reason. I know it. So you say... Ed? Yeah? I didn't expect much when you sent me to this hole. But what I found tonight with Louie and Bradley... You think it's still a coincidence? You think it's a coincidence? Of course it is! The hell else could it be? Yeah, maybe. It isn't hate, Ed. It's tender and sweet and maybe a little bit sexual. <laughs> hate gone tender and sweet gone sexual. 
Hey, I heard you've been putting Rachel through the paces. Having her run research on some dead art mope? What's the story? One of the guests keeps talking about a painting. Things called Angel Opening a Door. Supposed to be worth a fortune. Rachel says it was pinched from an art museum three years ago. Let me guess. You think it's the painting Bradley nicked? Just a hunch. A hunch, huh? Been a long time since I heard you say that. You old de no no reunion get the cop instincts flowing again? It's not like that. I just... You just what? I know this sounds nuts, but I don't care. There's something about this place, Ed. I know it. Something here is going to lead me to Bradley. Huh. You really believe that? Yeah, I do. Okay, Hyde, I'll give you one last night to follow this. But if nothing shakes loose tonight, it's time to hang it up. I ain't gonna watch this thing ruin your damn life. I don't have much of a life to ruin, Ed. Alright, enough of this crap. Crap, let's talk business. Remember those items I asked you to find? Well, I may need you to hand them over to the client directly. Sure. I'll ring you up later. Eh. <laughs> Kyle and Bradley repeatedly hitting each other with a stick for being horny? <laughs> just, just imagine that. Ed, have you ever been on fanfic.net? It's just all starting to add up, Ed. <laughs> all those Bradley and Kyle fanfics are starting to add up. Kagayaku. He's such an adorable being. I'm sure he is. I, I don't know what the, he looks like, though. Bradley. Or Bradley. That That's probably how he said it. Bradley. Except for smallest rides? I remember when I was doing spriting, I just... What did I make? What did I use? I didn't use a sprite. I used this, like, weird free Japanese spriting... Spriting software. But Ace, Ace Sprite is pretty good. I'm sure you could learn it. My eyes are so dry. One second, I need to use eye drops. Okay, we're gonna have a drink with Helen, and I think I'll end stream after that. Nah! Oh, my eye drops fell down. You know, when I was a kid, I used to be really bad at, at putting in eye drops. Even when, like, I couldn't do it myself, because I was afraid of, like, touching near my eyes. And my, whenever my mom did it, like, I kept blinking. I couldn't keep my eyes open. <laughs> oh, we got a redeem. I am a kitty. Hear me, nyabbit! Thank you for the redeem. But yeah, I, I like the game's graphics as well. I am very nostalgic for the Nintendo DS era. So this is the bar. Hmm? Yo, hi! Get in here! Welcome to the Seven Stars, my man. I prefer my bar keeps to be prettier, but I guess you'll do. Now, why you gonna go and hurt me like that? I ain't no one else- Ain't no one else could look this good behind the counter. Hope you tend bar better than you deliver packages. Let me tell you a secret, my man. This here is the best place in the whole hotel. Because it has alcohol. <laughs> Most every job old man Dunning makes me do is a total drag. Makes me want to take a long lunch and just keep on walking, you dig? Except this one. Brother, I could stand back here all day. So what do you think? Beauty of a bar, ain't she? Not bad. 
Whoa, alcohol! This is the best place in the entire hotel because of alcohol! But you know what the best place in the entire hotel would be for me? The, the bed, because I love to sleep. Damn straight. So come on, hi, take a load off for once. What's your poison? Bourbon. Make it a double. Coming at ya. I've never had bourbon before. I take a seat at the end of the bar. Slappy. Yeah. Sloppy is my middle name. <laughs> take a load off, huh? Yeah, let, let me just, yeah, let me unzip my pants and you know, take a little load off and then I'll get to drinking. Hide my man, you got no idea what Louie has in store for you. This, my brother? This is an eight-year bourbon from the grasslands of Kentucky. And it's on me. Nice. Ah, uh, bourbon, my first swig. Oh, was it the first alcohol you, you uh, tried? Get a load on this guy. <laughs> ah. I probably said this on stream, but my first liquor was fireball whiskey. And my first actual drink was, well, I guess it's not like an actual drink. If you mean like the first time I actually drank alcohol of my own volition, it was the fireball whiskey. If it was my first taste of alcohol, it was when I was like a child and my dad was like, hey, try this. And it was a Corona beer or something and it tasted like piss. I need the horny bonk, I'm so fucking gay. Here, let me give you a little bonk. A little bonk in the chat. It's bonking me, but just imagine it's bonking you for being a little horny gay. First was fireball? Yeah, because it, it's like, you hear it, it tastes like cinnamon. And it's actually, like, not bad for whiskey. I don't really like whiskey, but the cinnamon taste makes it not taste like whiskey. Louis sets my drink on the counter and leaves me in peace. Good man. I swirl the deep amber around the glass and listen to the music of the ice. It smells of good earth, with hints of charcoal dancing around the edges. The first sip is a slow burn. I sit for a moment, letting the fire spread through me. Hi, you okay? Oh god! This is a... <laughs> This is the second time he's fucking smiled in the whole game. First time was after he ate dinner. It tastes okay. I had a Muay Thai and it was not good. What's in a Muay Thai? I've never had that. Yeah, and it's a pretty mid drink. I I I drank it first cuz like it was like back in college and like um I was in someone's dorm. And someone was like, who wants to drink first? And I'm like, I'll do it! Because I was like, really... I was like, I really wanted to like, try alcohol. A Mai Tai, oh, okay. Pretty alcohol. Muay Thai is a form of martial arts. Oh! Yeah, the warm feeling. Yeah. My choice of liquor nowadays is vodka or rum. I just mix it with like some coke and that's it. I don't really do anything special. Although if I'm having vodka, I make a, a mo like a little Moscow mule out of it. Cause it's pretty easy. You just need ginger beer and you need uh, lime. I think that's what you use, not lemon. <laughs> that's, that's a cute mistake though. The Muay Thai and Mai Thai. One second, putting in more eye drops. Mm -hmm. I love drinking martial arts. But Kyle is so cute when he smiles. Ha ha ha. Oh, my brother. My brother. Been forever since I seen a cat make a drink look that good. Been a long time since I had an eight year. Thanks, Louie. Hey, you're the cat what made my day. Feel like the best barman in LA now. Say hi, I don't mean to interrupt your quiet time or nothing. But we got us a jukebox in the corner there if you want some drinking tunes. Oh, and see those matches on the shelf over there? My work, man. 
matches by Louis de Nono. Check him out when you got a, got a sec. It's a trip. Oh, and there's something else I gotta clue you in on. Spill it. It's about the cat what was here six months ago. The one with your name? Yeah, so the day he stayed here, me and Rosa were both out. So what's the story? Oh, that is that why, uh... Is that why they don't remember him? You have enough of Dunning's crap and call him sick? Nah, man, it wasn't like that. I had me a planned vacation. No one's been in 217 since that day, right? That's right. You have a jukebox? And it works? I know, trip, right? Ain't the newest model or nothing, but it gives the old bar some class. What's a song run me? Can't charge for music, man. Things free as can be. You see a song you like? Just give it a spin. Oh, that's nice. You, you, you don't gotta pay for the jukebox. So tell me about these matches of yours. Dig it, man. Labels accustomed to Nono original. Before I came, place didn't even have matches. What's a match? What's a match? Like the match that lights things up or... Another drink, my man? Yeah, hit me again. Someone's here. It's Helen! Oh, hey, welcome to the seven stars, uh, ma'am. Just take a seat anywhere you want. It's the old gal from upstairs. I prefer smaller streamers because they actually can read chat without going 50 miles per hour. Yeah, I, I feel that. Um, I used to watch bigger streamers as well, but like I usually do watch them if I just want to stay in the background and not really interact in chat. But when I actually want to interact with the streamer, I, I go to smaller streams. I totally get you. What you having? What a nice young man. I'll have a gimlet if you please. And mind you, a real gimlet is half gin and half lime juice, and nothing else. Wait a second. What did he say again? It's about the cat what was here six months ago. The one with your name? Yeah, so the day he stayed here, me and Rosa were both out. Yeah, why was Rosa out too? Maybe I'll have to ask her. I'm walking so fucking slow. God damn. And a good evening to you, Mr. Hyde. Are you down here all by yourself? Yeah. I drink alone. Less hassle that way. Oh, I couldn't agree more. But tell me, what are you drinking this evening? I'm a man of habit. First one's always a bourbon. Then I let the others take care of themselves. My stars, spending a Friday evening chatting with a fine bourbon-drinking gentleman. I can't even remember the last time I did something like this. Goodness, it takes me back. It truly does. Wait, so does drinking bourbon make you a fine gentleman? Should I drink bourbon now? I'll be fancy. So, you have a family? No, I'm all alone. And you, Mr. Hyde? Same story. No family, no ties. I'll tell you something, though. This is the first time I ever spent the last Friday of the year in a hotel bar. And the first one I ever spent with a nice gimlet-drinking lady like yourself. Ooh, he's smooth! Bourbon is ass? <laughs> is it like the worse the alcohol the drinks, the more refined it makes you? Not sure if bourbon is good for a frange? I'm not sure drinking rum and coke is good for a frange either. <laughs> Maybe a bourbon flavored bug? Is it, is it like, is that how I get, is that how I get, um, drunk? I need to drink like alcohol infused bugs. I must be distinguished. A distinguished young gentleman. Yes, because you drink bourbon, cries. You're a distinguished gentleman. Oh, Mr. Hyde, you certainly are a charmer. Now that I think about it, you said something when I first saw you. You wanted to stay in the room like Grant's wishes, right? That is correct. 
There's a wish of mine that I simply that simply must come true no matter what. That's why I came to this hotel, you see. Come on, that's just Dunning flapping his gums. You really believe that fairy tale? And is it such a shame if I do believe it, Mr. Hyde? Perhaps the fairy tale nature of the story makes me more inclined to believe, hmm? Helen's cool. I forget exactly what she did, though. You always been alone? Oh, no. No, not always. There was a time when I had someone in my life. A lot can happen when you live as long as I have. So, what's this wish of yours? Now, now, Mr. Hyde, that's my secret. All people have at least one genuine wish in their heart, don't you think? But you never really hear about such things, because they're so personal. Not the kind of thing you just give away to anyone, don't you agree? That is true. That is true. You don't just tell a random person you just met what your deepest wish is. So you had family once? Oh. Not everything you hoped it would be? Oh no, it's nothing like that. It's just... Well, it's all in the past, you see? Nothing interesting to speak of. You don't want to talk about it? I'll mind my business. And my drink. Just thought hearing about you in the heyday might be a kick in the pants. A kick in the pants? What the f What's this 80s slang? Sorry to keep you waiting. We got a gimlet for the beautiful young woman. Oh ho, what a rascal you are. Oh, and bartender, I'd like to order this man a bourbon. Coming right up. Oh man, I'm just getting free drinks all night. What time is it for you? It's 1.06 for me. Well, 1.07 now. It is 4.07 p.m. for me. You're in PST? I'm in uh, EST. Coming right up. Louis heads back down the bar. Now, Mr. Hyde, how would you like to play a little game with me? Just to pass the time until your bourbon comes. I'm not much for games. Oh, but you'll like this one. It's more of a trick, really. Now just give me one moment to set this up. Alright, I think that should do it. Yo, Easterners, yeah! I'm in Squee. Squee ST? What is that? Now, as you can see, I have six coins in front of me. You must arrange them so there are four in a row, both vertically and horizontally. Oh, but here's the fun part. You can only move one coin. Do you think you can beat my little game, Mr. Hyde? Okay, I'll bite. But if I win, you have to tell me about your past. Deal? Agreed. Uh, I forgot... How do you... Uh... My brain's a little bit tired, so I'm not quite sure how to do this one. EST, PST, Squee ST. <laughs> Squee ST? CST? Central time? Yeah, we can only move one coin. You want lobster right now? I, I would prefer the clam chowder and crab. I am a huge uh, crab person. I like crab. Not so much lobster, though. Yeah, so if I put it here... There's gotta be a trick. Can you drag one coin and move another with it? No, it doesn't... Oh! You, you can stack them. I forgot about that. <laughs> squeeze standard time. What is squeeze standard time? There. Oh, you solved it. Wonderful. Perhaps it was too easy for you. Very well, then. As promised, I'll tell you a little bit about my past. I'm listening. The truth is, this is not my first day at this hotel. Wait a minute. When were you here? When this, did this happen? 
I first stayed here 20 years ago. Then I returned 10 years later. Wait, you've been coming here once a decade for 30 years? That's correct. Back then, the stories about room 215 didn't even exist. It all happened so long ago. At that time, I was working in Las Vegas. A time zone for Squee. I still don't get it. But it sounds like a pleasant time zone. I kind of want to be in Squee ST. So. What did you do? Professional gambler? No, no, nothing so glamorous, I'm afraid. I was a magician. Yes, before I lost this eye, I used to entertain huge crowds of people. You were a magician? Hi, my man. Do I have something special for you? This brother is the best bourbon in the house. Aged 12 years. Holy shit. Oh my, look at the time. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I must be off. Who leaves after just having one drink? Thank you for engaging, engaging this old lady in such spirited conversation, Mr. Hyde. Please enjoy the rest of your drink. Bartender, would you please help me up to my room? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yo, Hyde, looks like I gotta run Grandma Patch back into to her room. Can you keep an eye on the place till I get back? Sure. Helen and, Lu and Louie leave the bar together. Well, I guess it's time to just drink everything. <laughs> Nonsensical jokes that Doodle just doesn't get are my favorites. I can tell because you make them every so often. Okay, I think I'm going to end stream here, though. Um, it's been a little over two hours, and I feel like I am hungry and need to eat. But I am going to be, um, I mean, I am going to be a guest on my friend Cabal's stream. He is celebrating his one year of VTubing today, and he's actually streaming right now. So I will go ahead and raid him. Um, I just need to get something to eat, and then I will be joining his stream in, like, 20 minutes? It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too, Axiom. I had, like, lots of new faces in the chat today. Um, it was nice meeting you all. Thank y'all for coming to my Hotel Dust stream. We will be, uh, we'll be playing a lot of new games next week, actually. Um, two games that I've been looking forward to are coming out. The Kirby and the Forgotten Lands game and the Rune Factory 5 game. I was gonna ask if I could saunter in with you into Kapal's stream? I, I'm i sure they would they would let you in. I mean, I don't see why not. But uh, I think you, you need to ask him, not ask him, maybe ask Diz or Eidolon, because I think Kabal will be, I'm not sure if he's still doing his cubes right now, but he's probably distracted. I think you could just, like, DM them and, uh, ask if you could get invited into the server? I really don't see why not. No, they would, but it feels slightly more natural to go in both at the same time. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm about to go in. But, uh, I'm just gonna have a little snack. Oh, you're already invited! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll let you know when I'm about to go in. Okay, let me raid them. Let's see, raid Cabal the Raven. Yeah, I I figured you were already invited, but they only told me that like when Cabal was talking to me in DMs, he was like, "Oh yeah, Court was invited too," and I'm like, "Oh okay." Wait, not Bebop? <laughs> Rack and Frungus appearance, Pog. Hell yeah. But yeah, when y'all go over there, if you have my emotes, feel free to send this message for the raid. And if you don't have my emotes, feel free to send this message for the raid. Let me get Cabal's stream pulled up on my phone real quick. Yeah, see y'all soon. Yeah, let me just get it pulled up so that I can actually be there in real time. Franj Raid. Franj Raid. Again, thank y'all so much for coming to the stream. Just having people there to chat with makes stream so much more fun. And I really do appreciate it. What is his stream tag? 
his stream tag? Like his his name or um I'm not sure what you mean. It looks like they're playing playing Jackbox right now. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye. Ah! Oh, his name is Cabal. So, Cabal the Raven. Ah, sorry, I spelled it!